Hey guys, welcome back to the program. Welcome back to the D Time Love Show. And today I've got a brand new release from a company called Aviate Watches. And especially coming up with Christmas around the corner, these watches from Aviate Watches, if you haven't got a massive budget or you're looking to buy someone a gift to get them into the hobby or someone who's into aviation, Aviate Watches a great value for money really cool packaging for what you can see here guys and the watch that we've got in front here is the flyboy spirit of tuskegee chronograph limited edition very cool watch from aviate watch now those of you that are not familiar with this brand they are part of a much larger watch manufacturing group the dartmouth watch group a british watch manufacturing group and they have different genres of brands within their umbrella of brands within the company and aviate watches is exactly what it says on the tin these are their aviation inspired watches but they have a, also have the likes of spinnaker watches which are very much uh, you could say dive watch inspired with a little bit of a vintage vibe you've got rgmt which are very military inspired and ballast and a few other brands as well so they're quite a big watch manufacturing group and whether you could call them a, a micro brand i'm not really sure because they really do have sort of a mass sort of produced watches at reasonable prices, but they do have a real watch enthusiast appeal. So Aviate watches have got a lot of aviation enthusiasts, Spinnaker have real dive watch enthusiasts, people that jump in and out of sort of like micro brands and sort of the, the mainstream brands as well. But looking at this watch, now the Spirit of Tuskegee is a limited edition and the RRP of this watch is £286 sterling for 2023. The Spirit of Tuskegee is basically celebrating the pilots, the black pilots that took part in World War II. And it's basically just playing, you know, um, homage and a celebration of their contribution to the war, to these particular pilots. Let's dig deeper, look at the package. Very swatch group, you could say, in terms of the packaging. Um, quite similar price, you could say, for their pieces as well. But these are not plastic watches, these are actual stainless steel. Let's take a closer look what you get with this watch. Now, let's get this packaging. Let's open this box up. Uh, what do you get, guys? Let's take a closer look. Nice yellow box, very cool indeed. Let's pop this open. It is very cool, I have to say. Look at this, guys. So this is really playing, you know, uh, paying tribute to these pilots, you know, the, the people that contributed to World War II, the Tuskegee, you could say, project. Let's have a look what it says here. Now, what do AV8 state about this watch? Let's have a look what this uh, pamphlet says. As the Tuskegee Airmen, we focus on honoring the accomplishments and perpetuating the history of African Americans who participated in aircrew, ground crew and operation support training in the Army Air Corps during World War II. 
are ongoing and national programs like Young Eagles and other TAI activities help to foster excitement and introduce young people across the nation to the world of aviation and science. We are dedicated to providing educational assistance to students and awards to those who deeds lend support to the TAI's goals. TAI also supports the Tuskegee Airmen Award presented to deserving cadets in the Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps program. 230 pieces, a limited edition. So I think this is great what these guys do. Um, this organization playing tribute, you know, to to the fathers of black aviation, you know, celebrating their contribution to World War II. Very much well deserved and a very, very important association, I must say, guys. Let's take a closer look at the specifications of this particular timepiece. Now, in terms of case diameter, you're looking at 44 millimeters. Um, in terms of lug to lug, you're looking at 50 millimeters. The banner width is 22 millimeters. It's got a cool leather strap, I have to say. And this particular version um, is 15 millimeters thick, but it's got this black PVD finishing as well. Um, the other, there are other variations of this watch with different color style variations but this one is the black pvd finish version and it's slightly more expensive than the other stainless steel variants but a uh, very cool crown there guys let's just focus in there for you as well i love the pusher with that yellow and red trigger pusher there that does combine well with the leather strap indeed but look at the doll guys look at all those layers look at those big large numerals they're very legible typical AVA aviation inspired but what I have to say what aviation watches are really cool if you look at the sub dials there guys you can see that they look like they've taken them out of the gauges of a the plane that this watch is inspired by the flyboy uh very cool indeed i have to say so it's not everybody's cup of tea i have to say this particular timepiece but um it is for the aviation you know geeks out there and it's very very good collaboration with this particular organization playing tribute to those pilots that i showed you guys on the box earlier very cool indeed so looking at the back here, you've got um, AV8 50 meters water resistant. This is not a dive watch. I wouldn't really trust to take it diving, guys. I do like the fact that it's yellow at the back of the leather strap. Very cool indeed. So this watch is 286 pounds sterling uh, for 2023. I believe there's considerable discounts as well on the website for Christmas. Would make a lovely Christmas gift, I would say, or try and get someone into watch. Just look at how um, this caliber works. It's a standard, probably a, some sort of Miyota um, quartz chronograph movement as well. Nothing spectacular, I have to say. I would have preferred the Mecha quartz of some sort, to be honest with you. But um, no, it's it's okay, not bad. You know, I would have preferred the mechanical, but at this price point, you can't expect to get me a mechanical chronograph so i can see the reason why they use this particular movement let's change perspective let's get a wrist shot and a loom shot for you guys bear with me there's the watch guys on the wrist wears very well the leather strap needs to be broken into it's a little bit tough at the moment it's the first time me ever wearing this timepiece i like do like the black pvd it's a cool looking watch very gimmicky but if you're an aviation fanboy an aviation geek this watch will definitely appeal to you but i'd say if you're not into these types of watches you're probably not going to really feel anything for this particular timepiece um, i mean if i was being overly critical i can see you know one of the sub dials is a little bit off i'm a little bit ocd i would have liked to have a bit more symmetry on the dial but it's very cool very intriguing very cool there's a little bit of like a false patina on the on the numerals and on that the hands is very legible let's have a look what the looms like on this particular timepiece bear with me guys 
let's check out the loom on this piece guys and wow i have to say look how legible it is let's just switch this torch off wow look at that guys very nice very bright loom very very cool indeed i have to say look how legible that is and um yeah I, look at that it's really bright isn't it i have to say very impressive um aviate watches yeah they produce some really cool watches for the price guys so guys um let me know what your thoughts are have a lovely christmas i think these will make really cool christmas gifts i would say um just very gimmicky very cool get yourself down to the rf museum get yourself one of these watches if you are an aviation geek check out my other videos from the RAF Museum. I've taken a number of the Aviate watches and done some unveilings at the RAF Museum in Collindale. And we've also done a few in regards to Marathon G SAR as well. Very cool timepieces, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.